Alright guys, so you saw last time we ended up installing my dirt bike that I ended up buying the 125cc Apollo. My friend actually got the 250cc Apollo, so we're going to actually help you guys build that and then we're going to compare the two differences. I can already tell his bike's a lot bigger, he's been working on it, so let's actually see what he's been doing. His is a little bit easier to assemble too, so... <clears throat> you got it? You finished? Heck no, I can't put the shit in. You still on the same thing? Yeah. All right, the difference is, as you guys can see, I mean, it's on a stand right now, but it, it is a bigger bike than the 125cc. The 125 is a lot smaller, uh, but when I had to assemble this, you guys saw, we had to do the front shocks, we had to do the tire, the brakes, um, the handlebars, the rear spring, and I think that's it. And then, of course, a thing that I didn't get is we had to put in the little Kickstarter, whatever you call that, and then the uh, gear pedal too as well. Those are the only things that we had to install on the 125cc, but it did take a long time. This one's a little bit easier. It looks like all you had to do was the handlebars and the front tire and then maybe the back spring and put the battery in. So it's a little bit easier because you didn't have to do these front shocks. And if you guys remember watching the video when I installed or put my 125 together, it was it was extremely hard. I messed up. Uh, I put the freaking shocks on backwards and stuff. So it was a big delay, but we're gonna we're gonna get it hooked up. We're gonna get it running, but you guys can see the difference. Just, just right here, you can see. But this one sits about like this high. And then if you look over here, that one's just a lot bigger. I mean, look at the tire differences. Like, look at this tire. It's a small baby tire. And then if you look at this tire, you could just tell it's a lot massive, more, more bigger and whatnot. But I'm going to help him out. Um, basically, I would do a normal, like, install video. But installing this is pretty easy. When you get it out of the box, it's literally the handlebars, which all you have to do for the handlebars is... Jeez. Put on these these little uh, 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 spacers or whatever you want to call it. Put these on first. Put the screw through it. Put the handlebar down, and then you get this top part, and then you tighten it down. Front tire is the same exact thing as this one. If you guys want, you can go watch this video on how I did it. It's basically a long screw that goes through it with a spacer on one side, a spacer on the other side, and then you tighten the bolt down. And then the rear shock, pretty easy. Just got to jack the bike up so this drops down a little bit, and then you take this shock. Did you already connect the shock? No, it came like that. Oh, it's already connected? Oh, so the rear shock right here is already connected. So literally on this bike, all it is is the battery that you're gonna have to put in there, which that's super easy. And then the front tire, which, and the handlebars. So this bike is a lot easier to do. You could just tell it's a bigger, it's gonna be, this is already installed, pre-installed, not like on mine. Let me see if the gear switches. So where his gears are, what the heck? Oh, no, no, see that's, that's where you're gonna put it. Um, I have to install it. Let me see, where's, where's the, yeah, you do. Where's your box at? It's in the box. Oh, right here. So this is basically gonna be it. Same exact thing on my bike. I didn't do this in my video, but it's literally, you just put it on, tighten it down, and then you got the gear. We can uh, shift up and down. So yours is five. Oh, it is, it's one down and then the rest are up. See, mine's four, four gears, and it's all four are up. I didn't tell you guys that in the video uh, with the 125, but all the gears are basically up on mine. They actually have a picture right here, and it's just basically like a circle, and it's telling you that everything is up. So whenever I'm shifting on this bike, all I have to do is shift up for every single gear and then down for every gear. It's kind of, it's really easy. That way it's easier for me to understand and get it. But I do wish it was kind of like a normal bike because a normal bike is usually one down, the rest are up. But it is what it is. It's a Chinese bike, so I can't expect anything. Plus, I mean, I like the size of it. I just wish the tires were bigger because I believe if the tires were bigger, the bike would sit up higher as well. But I can't fit bigger tires because of this right here. So there's no way. It's literally the best I can do unless I replace this whole back shock right here whatever you guys want to call this. I don't know. I'm not going to do much to it. I'm just going to keep it the same. I'm going to help him out with this. So once we get the tire on and stuff and all the panels and make it look good, I'll be back and show you guys what his bike looks like. All right. So I just want to show you guys because I don't know if I got a good angle, but this is a bigger bike. Um, if you come down here, I'll show you. This is the big pin that you need. And then here's one of the spacers. Where's the other spacer at? The smaller one. All right. So it comes with this, two spacers, and then a nut. Where's the nut? All right. So it comes just like this. And basically this is going to go in into this uh, shock, I guess you want to call it, and then it's going to hit this, then it's going to hit the wheel, then on the other side it's going to hit this, and then it's going to hit the other shock, and then this goes on. So I'll show you guys what that looks like real quick. It can be difficult just because you got to play with it, but if you come over here, if you get it in halfway, so that way you don't see it like sticking out on this side, you can just grab it, put it in, let it hold it so that way it's easier. 
Then you can push it up a little bit, lift the tire up. Once it catches in the tire, don't push it all the way through. If you come over here, you can see it's kind of, it might be a little dark, but you can see it's kind of like sticking out right there. Let's pull it back just a little bit so that way we can fit this other spacer in. If you tilt this out, put the spacer there, turn the wheel a little bit, push it in so that way it's holding the spacer as you guys can see. It's literally right there. Start tilting this. <clears throat> Tilt the other one too. And then just kind of like try and wiggle it and push it through. All the way through. Just gotta kind of lift up the tire. <clears throat> and then you push it all the way through. Then you take the nut and you screw it on just like this. And then you're gonna wanna tight, tighten it down. Uh, normally you don't have to take off the brake pads. It should just fit in there perfectly. But I see what you're saying. It's like, it's like not centered on the brake pad. That might be just adjusting the brake pad. Um, the other one's still in there. Is it? I, I didn't, I only took that one out. Okay. Well yeah, so that's how you get this on. Then I'm gonna work on the brakes real quick. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. Okay, so this part, we actually messed up. Um, it looks a little bit different than on my bike. On my bike, the big spacer went where the brake disc was, and then the little one went there. But if you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see, but like, down there where the where the uh you can see how the disc see how the disc isn't like centered of the caliper which means the brake pads aren't going to be able to fit in there so we're gonna have to it looks like it's too far this way so that means the spacer is too big so if we get the smaller spacer it might center it out a little bit more we're going to try that out and see if it works um oh, yeah, hopefully the it does, one does go on the right. it does yeah, it's, it's all right so yeah, this one does go on this side on mine it was different i think it was because this thing was indented in um, so it was a little bit easier, but we're just gonna take it out, swap it out, and then it should fit perfectly. So if you took off the brake pads, don't take off the brake pads just because it's gonna be a little bit harder. Um, all you have to do is, I guess, put the pads in, put these nuts, and it goes in here, and then it should catch the uh, the holes on the pads. It's pretty simple. But yeah, we're gonna try to put it on with the pads on, so that way it slides perfectly in. Because if we have the brake disc sitting there, and then we try to put the pads, we're gonna have to like squeeze our fingers in there, and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But if we there do we it like go. this, it should just fit perfectly. There we go. Just like that, you just push them in. It holds the pads, so they won't wiggle or anything like that. Now. There's not much of a gap here, as you can see in the brake pad itself, um, in the two brake pads, there's no gap. There's no gap in between, so we're gonna have to push the pad out so that way there's actually a gap. So we're gonna have to find out, I think, cause it's, it's like a normal brake pad, so we're gonna have to like, not bleed the brakes, but like push this brake pad closer to the, uh, I, I don't know, a caliper or, or something. We're basically gonna have to make this gap bigger and I'll find out how to do that real quick. All right guys, I found out how to do it. As you can see, the gap's a little bit bigger. Just get a flathead, push it in there and kind of like pry one way to just push the caliper in a little bit more that way. Uh, we're trying to move this one because this one's kind of stuck on these walls right here. So what we're trying to do is push it here. Hold this real quick. You just gotta wiggle it, play with it, come down low. Don't, don't put too much pressure on it. You just wanna do it enough so it's gapping out a little bit. Come to the top. Do it at the top too. And just constantly do it. Do it in the middle. Oh no. And do it right here. Push on the other side as well. Jeez, these are freaking. Alright, you see the gap? The gap is a lot bigger now. So now we can fit the actual uh, disc through this gap, as you can see. The screwdriver fits in there very easy, so hopefully now it'll fit. And then we're gonna put these washers in the right way. Again, smaller one goes on the side that the brake is on. For the 250cc, um, if you're working on a 125, it's the opposite, so this is how it goes. So we finished, we got the uh, tire on, we got the handlebars, everything's good, the battery's on, the seat's on. Um, one thing that we did notice though is, I said this rear shock right here, it, it's good, it, it's already connected, but it's not connected yet, because basically down here, these things right here, you're gonna have to loosen these and turn them. Where's that screw that you were like, where does this go? So basically, you're supposed to loosen these on both sides. Bring this to it lines up with this little bearing right here. Sorry guys, if you couldn't see that. So this little bearing, these right here are supposed to go into this little bearing right here. Um, and then you're supposed to put the screw through it, through both ends, and then that's how it tightens down. And that's how it holds the shock. So the shock shouldn't be held on this frame. So these can't move right now. They're kind of like really tight. So that's what you're gonna need to loosen these for, uh, these bolts right here. And that's located, that's gonna support the shock, basically. All right, we got it finished. Um, I don't know if you can see the height difference, but 
Mine's a lot smaller. Bro, we didn't. So, we, I can't cause we haven't put his reach. panels on yet, so we still got to put his panels on. Um, this is just the bike raw. I gotta leave this. It'll look a lot better like, with like all the panels and stuff. Yeah. I, sh I should probably disconnect my keys. Yeah, that, that's a lot of keys to have dangling. These, this pollen put is this on the killing me, bro. All right, so first start. Go ahead. Which one is it? This? No, no, no that's your gears. And your gears is gonna have to. You're gonna have to readjust. Oh shit! You're gonna have to readjust this. Why? Just try going up. Doesn't it feel weird? Like it's too high up. Yeah, it's too high. Yeah, up. you're gonna have to t angle it differently. But this is it. Watch out. Yeah. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Damn, that shit hard. First, first time riding a bike, so bear with us, you guys. But these bikes too, they're, they're brand new. So let go of that. Once you kick it and get it started, you let go. There you go. Give it some gas. Because it's got to heat up, so it's, it's, it's going to take some time. So kick it. Jeez. Are you holding the brakes? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I know what that silver thing's for. It goes right here. For your brake. I ain't got no fucking brake. You got front brake. I don't really use. I mean, I do. Try to go a bit. Gas it a little. Gas it a little. It just cuts off. Kick it. It's, you, you can't, you gotta let the engine heat up and you gotta let everything warm up and let the fluids go through it without, you can't like gun it like that because it just turned on like this is a brand new bike. Go ahead. This shit tired kicking it. I'm at it. There you go. Fuel was off. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was on off. What's the throttle at? It said fuel off, now it's on. Where's the throttle? There's no throttle. Ah, yeah, then you're good. Go ahead, fool. Gotta tighten everything. Go ahead. I don't know where the fuck we get. It's down. It's down? Yeah, it's a clutch. Yeah, you got it. But I can't even get off of it. What you mean you can't get off of it? Oh, I totally forgot I have to push in the clutch. Oh, you went to gear? Yeah. Hey, look at this noob, man. Can't even fucking. You're gonna have to sh clutch in. Clutch in. Clutch in now. Clutch in. Why? Put it in neutral. This is it. You don't have to clutch when you kick it. You're you're not in neutral. You felt how no you you felt how you, it rolled when you kicked it. You're in first gear. Clutch in, and then put it in neutral. But it's off. I don't have to put in the clutch. Watch out. No, it's you still have to. That's neutral. This is neutral. Yeah. So up. Go down. Does it? Do you feel it? Click. That's first. So now. No, 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 don't gas it, just ease off the clutch and see if it pulls you a little. Slowly, there you go. It's hilarious, guys, because he's literally brand new to bike. We both learned our first time riding a bike right now. He probably has no clue what he's doing, but there you have it, the bike runs, it, it's smooth. Make sure you tighten down the bolts. I don't know why he's going across the street, but I'm going to go catch up with him and make sure he's safe. So, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. Uh, he just finished. It's a new day. He came back the next day because he had to work. Um, and he put on the panels. This is what it looks like with the panels on. Honestly, super clean, man. On, it's, it's a really clean bike. 250cc Apollo um, with the green panels. It actually looks a lot better now that it has the panels on. He knows how to do it now. He's not a, he's not a noob like he was earlier. But I yeah, he did good. First day, uh, better than me, honestly. But my little bike, happy with my little bike. We gotta go get gas, and then we're gonna go riding. But that's gonna be for tomorrow's video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe. Come check it out. And yeah, there you go. That's how you put together the 250 cc Carlos dirt bike. Pit bike, dirt bike. I don't know what you guys want to call it. 
I think that's a pit bike. It's kind of dark. And this is a dirt bike. But it's clean. Wait, watch out real quick. Leave it right there. Back it up. Got the thumbnail. Alright, y'all. See you guys in tomorrow's video where we're actually going to go riding, hit some trails and stuff like that. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow.